Okay, so you got yourself a Super Nintendo, and you're thinking, wow, I wonder what kind of outputs I can get from this. Short answer is, you can go with RF, go with composite, or S-video, or you can go with RGB. The Super Nintendo outputs all those different kinds of video outputs natively from the console without modding. The thing is, this, is, this isn't a... Um, wow, this output is actually the best because the, the developers intended... Blah blah bullshit, never mind that. This is just for fun, okay? This is a simple comparison between the different video outputs. Simple as that. I'm not saying either is better than the other. I am saying some is better than the other in certain uh, occasions, in, in certain small parts. I'm not saying that there is a number one output, okay? Every person is of course entitled to their own opinion. And um, some may prefer RF, some may prefer composite, S-video or RGB. It doesn't matter, okay? What matter is that you play these old games. So don't try to gatekeep people from using the wrong kind of output. I'm glad we sorted that out. I have made a previous video on the topic before, somewhere. That video was recorded on a OSC upscaler, what it would look like on a LCD screen of some sort. This video, on the other hand, uh, I'm recording from my Sony 32-inch Vega CRT, this time CRT for the for the real comparison. Let's dive into it. First, let's look at the Nintendo logo. It looks fine on all outputs, really. Next, the Nintendo text. It looks fine on RF, on S-Video and on RGB. But on composite, it looks very jaggedy and not really nice at all. Same thing here with the jagged lines. This time both on uh, RF and on composite. We can also see some ghosting effect on all but the RGB. If we look at the shadow background, it looks best on the RF. On all the other outputs you can see the, the shadow gradient.
The composite have some weird rainbow effect going on at the text. All the other text looks uh, crisp, nice and white. I think the colors on the RF composite and S video are a bit washed out. But I also think the colors on the RGB are oversaturated. The Zelda logo looks just great all over, but maybe a bit too oversaturated on the RGB. We can see some color bleed at the numbers on the RF and composite, but the numbers on the S video and RGB looks too sharp and not as smooth. Also, the floor on the RF looks real nice. The shadow on the street light looks the best on the composite and perhaps worst on the RGB. We still have the 
problem with the jagged lines on the composite though. And that concludes our little experiment, our little test, our little trial, whatever you want to call it. If you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you like to see uh, some other kind of test like this or something else, please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.